Welcome back, Achievers, for Easy Achievers Game Podcast for the week of February 17th. Episode 108. Is it 8? Yes. Yeah! Sitting with me, of course, is Alex. And I, of course, Elijah. How is everyone today? This Hello, is when achievers. This is when the Achievers talk in their car. And then the person in the stop line next to them goes, the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> but, Alex. Mm. A slow news week. Very we, slow. We, we, we have a slower. I mean, we, uh, we, we, got, we, got, I, we got things coming up at the end of the week. So, thanks for bringing that up. Of course, February 17th. We are a day away from Horizon Forbidden West. Five days away from Destiny Witch Queen. And then eight days away from Elden Ring. So we, we're we pretty Hacked. effed in the A tomorrow. Because we got to play Horizon. Then we got to play Destiny. Then we got to play Elden Ring. Sorry about that. And we're going to have no time for anything. And then after, uh, there's not too much of March. I know the new WWE game's coming out. People are excited for that. But I, I'm, I'm good. But, but I think there's one yeah. other game that we we were looking at in March. But... Let's see. I have to look it up. I March is a blind spot because I've just been so focused on February. I got you. If you care for Babylon's Fall. Uh, that is true. I That's March 3rd. A couple of people are excited. I am... I, I want to... I mean, I we got a good I want to see what it looks Tri- like. Triangle Strategy, Gran yes. Turismo 7. Yes. People love Gran Turismo. Uh, mm-hmm. not, not my type of game, but people, people love that game. A lot of people are excited for Tunic. I want to try Tunic. It looks yes. really good. It's been... I feel like that was announced like three years ago, so I can't wait for that thing. And uh, March twenty fifth, and in uh, March twenty fifth has Tina, Tina, Tiny Tina's Wonderland, and Kirby. God and Ghostwire Tokyo. Do you, do you care about Kirby? No, you don't seem like a Kirby guy. No. So. The only Kirby game that I've ever played was, as I always say, Air Ride. And honestly, I don't even know if people count it as a Kirby game because you're literally running around on a little floating hovercraft and you're just battling out. It's like an arena type game. Oh, so you're fighting but, stuff. Yeah, you're fighting other people. Like, literally, you and I could both jump into the game, and there's, like, little hoverboards everywhere, and you can jump on them, and they do different, uh, uh, like, they, I'm, I'm assuming powers, or, like, like you can fight each other with them, and you got to run around and hit each other. Think of it as Mario Kart's balloon battle. Think of it like that, but there's no balloons. You have to fight each other in a different way, but there's, mm. like, a whole big arena. You run around. It was fun. It was on GameCube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah it's, it definitely sounds like something I'd, I would have probably been into at the time. Yeah. Um, as a wee lad. It was, yeah, it was that and Sunshine. That's all I played on my GameCube. <laughs> Speaking of which, this is a video game podcast. You can support us, of course, if you're on YouTube by liking, subscribing, or giving us a comment, helping us with the algorithm. If you're on a podcast service, remember five-star reviews. Whatever you're on, remember Spotify now does five-star reviews. So leave a five-star mm-hmm. review for us. That helps the algorithm on their sites as well. On top of that, if you want to help us financially, patreon.com is where you want to go. Multiple tiers that you can look at. Private messaging us, to get on the show, things about that. Alex, I like to start yes. this show like I do every week with one question. What have you been playing? Hmm. Well, because of you, I've been playing some Destiny. I did rope getting you ready, in. Getting ready for Witch Queen. Yes. Uh, more Dying Light 2. I'm trying to see if I can get any any like you know i'm trying to not because (laughs) because we have horizon and all these games coming out i'm trying not to like be like oh i'm not ever gonna touch that again so i'm trying to like here and there play a little bit and hopefully in between i can just try to because i do want to finish it just to finish it i am not gonna play every side quest possible (laughs) now we did go come up across to where it is a lot more fun co-op yes yes we played some co-op i especially liked uh you might have to help me with what it was called um it was like a q uh the the q anomaly site you know when we were on the big big building and we had to go like down the stairs oh and like each like, floor yeah. had had its own stuff i don't remember what like those a, were called it was like a mm. It was a GRE quarantine yes. zone type of yes, thing. Yes, yes, yes. That's what it's called. GRE quarantine. Yeah, yeah. That was yeah. awesome. 
We yeah, had to like was, oh. go in at nighttime because all the zombies are gone, and you like get the mm-hmm. stealth and get a bunch of stuff. We got so much yeah. money. That was really that was really fun. That that is what I want. Now I'm not gonna lie, like when I'm playing the um like the actual story, not, not particularly caring at all. So I'm curious if I'll ever care because right now I'm like. I'll be honest, I don't even know what we're doing, really. I know we want the Aiden sister, Aiden. but... <laughs> God, Aiden, but Aiden. If you didn't play the game, you have no idea what we're doing right now, but play the game, and you'll understand what that means. It's very annoying. Uh, yeah, it's but, very weird. Uh, but I've been playing some more Destiny. I've tried to play a little Dying Light here and there. Uh, a lot more Pokemon Legends. I'm. I feel like I'm almost going to beat the game. I don't know. Okay. But I feel like I'm... I think better. I'm halfway, because I'm rank four. I'm rank... Six? Rank six. Pretty sure. Pretty sure yeah. I'm rank six. So I feel like I'm close to the end of the game because of a lot of the stuff I'm doing. Maybe I'm mm-hmm. not. I don't know. And then I've been... Uh, this literally this morning, I had a can- uh, hankering for Civilization. So I, oh, I just I booted up a Civilization playing as Alexander the Great and I'm just going to kill a bunch of people. It's going to be fun. Oh, um, God. Run the world. You do that, man. Anyways. Rapid fire. So... Jeevers, apologies if you see me looking down. Um, my computer's freaking out. So I'm just going to use my phone and read from that. So, first rapid fire. Halo TV, so, TV series already has been renewed for a second season. So before, and Jeevers, you're not, you're not like forgetting something. It hasn't aired yet, but it's yeah. already renewed. Strange. Way before premiere. Usually, that's a good sign. Yeah. Usually that's a good sign. That means it's either playtesting, very well, playtesting. Usually it's playing well with Greening early, well. <laughs> yeah, with a uh, early uh, testing and all that. And, like they're getting a good response, or they maybe got a bunch of money when they showed like the trailer, which I wouldn't be surprised about that either. Mm-hmm. And also, it's made by Paramount Plus. What are they, what else they got? Don't they have the Office or something? So like they don't got much going on. So I mean, they're, they're gonna surprised. they're gonna renew the Halo the show they got. I'm surprised the budget that they have when they showed the trailer. I'm like, this isn't this is. I thought this would look more like more terrible but like this was this actually looks like decent like okay i like i can get behind this i'm not a fan of master chief's voice of course it's not going to be the same voice but the i maybe it'll sound better when we watch the show cortana's almost just about the same it sounds well, it's, pretty good well, it's the don't same like actress. the way she looks is same it the same actress yeah oh i didn't know i didn't realize mm-hmm. that mm-hmm. but okay yeah so they, the voice is her I'm surprised they didn't use Master Chief's voice, but he just sounds weird when they showed the trailer. Um, I wonder if they're. going I think do the this. gentleman. Well, the gentleman. I don't. I. I. They, they. I guess they wanted him to be there. In oh, like, I gotcha. like and show his face, so they. Probably, you know, you can't vo voice over somebody. I gotcha. But with apparently they're having issues, and I don't know if they're doing a petition for it. But the you remember in Sonic the Hedgehog when Sonic looked terrible. And they and everybody was upset, so they re ch- they changed him to make him look better. Yeah. There, a lot of people are like that with Cortana. The people are upset that she's not more blue. And I'm wondering if they're gonna change that and make her because she looks too like skin toned. So I wonder if they're gonna change that to make her look more AI and blue. I saw a lot of people upset about this. I, I think we talked about it last episode. I don't even remember. But mm-hmm. it, it, even if we did, I, yeah. I don't. I don't really care. If I, if she was blue, good. sure would have looked probably cooler. But I don't even know if the show's good. So I'm not even gonna, I'm not gonna complain about the yep. Katana's color until I actually watch the show. Um, sticking with TV shows and things, Netflix did announce um, they're partnering with 2K and Take Two to produce a film adaptation of Bioshock. Now, I don't know if everyone remembers, but a Bioshock movie, if I remember correctly, has been in the like rumored for a very long time, and this is the first time we've ever like actually said this place is working on one now. So we're getting a Bioshock movie. I don't care if I'm being real with everyone. Who cares? Honestly, a TV show would be cooler because I was gonna say, would you rather be a, a movie or a show? I think a show because the uh, Rapture is so huge, much of a compelling place that like I'd love to see just a dark show about Rapture. But it's gonna be a movie, and I really hope they don't. Because if they do, if they do what I think they're gonna do, and they just try to remake the the game, in the, it's not gonna work. It's not. Mm-hmm. So I would rather just make a TV show. Would I care either way? Not really. I usually wait for these things to come out, and if they're good, I watch it. And if they're not, I don't. 
Same with like Castlevania. Like I heard it was good. Watched it. It's amazing. Love it. So I yeah. watched like all of them. So just, that's another thing. What do you think? Um, You're more of a TV show guy, so you, I feel like you can bring more to to the conversation. I'm hoping as long as they get the key elements, like yeah, like for example, like the budget. Like when I, for, um, I like we don't know what it looks like yet, so uh, I'll just go back real quick to Halo. When I saw the trailer, he looks great. The elites look great. I'm probably sold on it, and I'm gonna watch it either way, just to to feel it. It, it might not be good. Who knows? We'll see it. Bioshock, I'll probably will watch it because I do. I just want to see what their adaptation is on it. I just hope that their budget isn't bad, or I hope they just don't do it poorly. So, like, I don't know what they're. Well, I don't know what. Yeah, like you said, if is it gonna be the first game over again? I hope not. But yeah, we'll it, see. if you try to make the first game into a movie, it's not gonna work. Guarantee. Yeah. I, I guarantee, you, just do especially this. the twist. The twist is cool mm-hmm. and it's very interesting, um, yeah. especially when you get meta about it. But when you put that into a movie format, I just don't think it's going to hit. Like, it's going to happen, and you're going to be like, like, it's going to be a cool twist, like some sort of M. Night Shyamalan twist thingy, mm-hmm. but is it really going to work? I, I don't think it will. I just, I just wonder how they're going to do it, because, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> it, I mean, that's going to be a lot of, uh, I wonder, hope, I wonder, I'm assuming, CGI, because uh, are they really going to make a big daddy suit? Please. Oh my god, I'd love that. I would. I mean, I would hope. I would love I that. Really a pu- a puppeted made... Big Daddy suit walking like around? They're not going to do that. Suit? because yeah. it, They suck, but yeah. that'd be awesome. Honestly, I feel like that'd be cheaper than the CGI itself. Yeah, uh, everyone always says it's cheaper to CGI stuff, and I'm like, yeah, but like, who like, cares? I mean, really, I mean, you, really, I'm, not, I'm, I'm sorry. Have you like, not seen the cosplayers at like Comic Cons that make this out of 3D printer? That's, Literally, that's true. I'm sure you can afford that uh, and me make too. it better. Yeah, I always hear the excuse. I'm like, I, do, I even if it was more expensive, I don't care. It doesn't look as good, so I, I mean, yeah, I don't I, care if it's more expensive. Yeah, like I, I, feel, I, don't, I don't know what they want look to say. Too fake, because then it's not gonna. A lot compelling. of CG looks pretty bad. Now, yeah. I will shout out. The Doctor Strange trailer actually does surprisingly look very good. Um, yeah. When he opens that door and you see like the big span, I was like, "Wow, mm-hmm. all of that is fake." <laughs> so, oh, so well, it's yeah, crazy. But- it's crazy how good it looks because I'm like, "Wow, no, yeah. not a single thing on this screen." Like, they're just standing in front of a green thing. Like, there's oh, yeah. nothing there. But all of that looked really good. So, I, so I that is, that's that's a thing I of like, like that's we're usually expected good. that I guess. Oh, I mean, I that's know. a really expensive movie. So I, I, I oh, do yeah. expect it to be good, but yeah. it was still shocking. Like when they mm. show that first shot and it's like huge space, I was like, Jesus, that looks cool. Yeah, they, like they God. have the budget to make that. No, no, no yeah. Good. I mean, that's <laughs> probably hundreds of millions. Of, I mean, not probably. It is hundreds of millions of dollars yeah. for that show. So we'll see. Let's see how Take Two and uh, do, do with this. First, qu- uh, f- well, first news story, first real news story. Originally, Alex. You brought mm. this to the table. I didn't even find this. I'm not a big PC guy. You are. Mm. And originally, I was like, oh, yeah, let's throw it in there because it's a light news story. But upon reading and examining, this mm. is a pretty big deal. So Intel's setting to launch their first ARC uh, desktop GPUs, U2. Now, I'm, I have uh, grabbed a bunch of information from actually IGN by Taylor Lau. So, Achievers, you know what to do. Go give them a click, please. Look at, look at all their nice ads and things like that. Help them out. Anyways, I'm going to read to you basically what I think is the most compelling out of this article. So, uh, The well-known CPU maker confirmed that its ARC brand GPUs for laptops will begin shipping this quarter, while those looking to buy the desktop GPU will need to wait until Q2 of this year. Now, I didn't even know this, but it was originally announced last August for the ARC brand. Mm-hmm. And this will be basically how they're going to enter the market. They're going to set their foot in this ARC brand. And now, what I'm curious is how good this is going to be. That, that's what immediately comes to mind. But uh, let me finish out the article. Then we can talk about that ARC brand. Mm-hmm. As the company also confirmed during its initial announcement that its GPUs will span, quote, multiple hardware generations, end quote, under code names Battle Mage, Celestial, and Druid. Sounds like I was able to make these code names, by the way. Like that, that sounds like some code names I'd make. The art brand will also include its own super sampling tech, XESS, which will complete uh, compete with AMD's Little Fidelity FX Super Resolution and NVIDIA's DLSS, which I heard, by the way, DLSS is crazy good. 
I heard oh, yeah. that is crazy it's, good. Yeah, the I LSS would... is outstanding because it gives you the fidelity, but like doesn't cost as much GPU. Yeah, they cut it like crazy, yeah. like and, the what what yeah. it wears on your machine. I cannot wait to upgrade my PC and be able to to like if something says DLSS, I'm buying it because mm -hmm. the the way it makes games run without eating your CPU is amazing. Mm -hmm. Or GPU. And that's not all. Project Endgame was announced. A new cloud GPU service allowing users to, quote, access Intel Arc GPUs through a service for always accessible, low latency computing experience, end quote. Uh, GeForce Now, achievers. That was a lot of nonsense. It's just, it's, it's their GeForce now. Yeah. So they're also going into that market as well. So not only are they going to bring out GPUs and have straight up just GPUs on the market, they are also bringing Project Endgame into the mix, which is going to be their service that you can at any point use and download games. Mm -hmm. Alex, you are a much better at PC know-how than I am. What do you think of all this? I, to me, and I don't know, maybe I'm not in the right spaces, but I feel like no one's talking about this, and it feels like a pretty big deal. I mean, it's kind of like I th I a think new it's console, really right? Like, it's a new person making a console almost, right? You, yeah. You're seeing a new person making GPUs, and it's Intel. Like, that's it's not very, a small company. Well, no, but it's very... It's A lot of people are probably questionable because, like, everybody who makes PCs, AMD, uh, AMD graphic... Uh, processors are better than intel or at least in my opinion i don't know how people could say the otherwise um but like from what i anytime I, i'm seeing somebody make a uh a building a pc they're always using a, an amd or like a ryzen 5 or or, or higher right they're not really and, using the uh, yeah, i never hear really yeah i never hear the intel core um i think it's because like, i mean i think they were having issues either it was either processors or graphics cards they were having um I think the processor was having issues with like updates and it was just it was it wasn't as good let's just say it. so anybody who uses AMD uh processors they're either going to get Nvidia graphics cards or uh, or the or the Radeon graphics cards most likely it's AMD with Nvidia from what I've seen most popular so like I'm so seeing an Intel graphics card is going to it's just they're supposed to rival nvidia and radeon i it's kind of like people like when i heard i saw it i'm like ah, you're skeptical no, okay and yeah, it sounds like you have reasons to be skeptical Well, because the processor be, i mean yeah. I'm, I, well, I'm like you know i the processors are good but i prefer amd so i'm like how is this going to compare now mm. so like versus you know the g4 the g4 is like the 3080 or the radeon 60 yeah 60, I, I hear the g forces the the 30 models, 30, 70, 60, yeah, 80s. The 30 those are like are kings usually what, yeah. right now, right? So, yeah. so how, yeah, how does Intel not only get into the market and make you want to buy one, but like yeah. stay in it? Now, again, big company, so they can just burn money. Yeah, and I think so. they're doing this because not as many people are buying their processors. Again, like I said, because they're buying AMD processors, so I think they're, they'll be like, well, let's make well, graphics I think cards. So we have that option too. And also that I think they see how much money is being made, right? Like how many times do you hear, you know, this bot bought all the things or, you know, all the graphics cards are really hard to find. They see that mm. and they're like, well, sounds like free money. <laughs> uh, people are mining these crypto Bitcoin things, right? So we get into the market. We sell GPUs. Who cares what you use them for? We sell them all. Who cares? Who's... First off, none of these companies care if bots buy them all. I refuse to believe that. None of them do anything to stop it. So... They're just going to make their own graphics cards and let them be sold to whoever wants to buy them. So I'm not terribly shocked, but I am shocked that they are making it. And I never thought Intel would be making GPUs, but when you, when you mention it like that, yeah, it makes a little more sense. I'm just curious how good it's going to be. And curious on the price. Are they going to try and be competitive and undercut? Are they going to say, hey, look at our performance um, and they're gonna have like the and like the other names. They're like, look, look at our you know wave. We're, our wave is bigger on the screen, so like ours is mm -hmm. better. Curious if it's gonna be like that. Curious if they're gonna go the other way and kind of say like, yeah, you know, it's as good, but ours is three hundred bucks cheaper. Like some crazy number. Like, yeah. And that that makes like that makes like Nvidia go like, oh Jesus, we gotta 
we got to respond in some way. Uh, yeah, I'm just curious if what what ploy are they going to do uh, uh, develop when they actually release this into the market? Yeah, that's, I'm, that's I'm what just, I want to see. I'm just wondering because it just adds so many like buffs on here, like the the XE the XE super. Oh, that sounds like it's so much very, nonsense. It's an to AI me. based upscaling. I'm like and that yeah. all sounded like so much nonsense to me. I was like, like what is, is yeah. any of this? What is? I'm gonna say it again. What is this? What XESS AMD's Fidelity FX Super Resolution? Yeah. So yeah, it's what XE is, super. Did sampling. I just say? Yeah. <laughs> And apparently, it enables an increased output resolution while maintaining high image fidelity at maximum performance. Is what that is. I was like, it sounds like you just read me like Viagra, like a description of Viagra. So that's what that just sounded like. Uh, Anyways, it looks good, but I just I don't know. I, I can't apparently wait for I can't wait for more stuff in upcoming games too. Q2. I mean, Q2 is not far away at all. I mean, it says, yeah, Death Stranding, Director's Cut, Hitman 3, Grit, Grid Legends. Apparently, it's going to be available in these latest games. Mm. We will see. So, interesting. Well, uh, Achievers, let's talk about Battlefield. EA yeah. responded to the, quote, disappointing launch, end quote, as referred to EA by themselves, about Battlefield 2042. And it finally came out with a reason why. Did they blame it on some sort of communication problem that they had with the team? Did they maybe blame some sort of leadership problem with the project? No, 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 no. Of course, it is Halo Infinite's problem. Halo Infinite's fault that Battlefield 2042 messed up. Now, now, obviously, uh, they did say this, but uh, I'll actually give out the full, full reasons. But that is basically what it comes down to. Now, they did lay out things like, of course, citing the pandemic for being an issue. They also cited problems not arising until they launched it at a huge scale. Uh, I, I assume they're bringing up the beta. Uh, but the last thing they leave on is Halo Infinite's launch in between their early access and final launch with their free-to-play beta crippled their launch. And that's all directly from EA themselves. That's a mixture of the CEO and... Um, her name. I'll grab the name in a second, but that that is a mixture. I mean, that's EA's leadership saying that. So, Alex, I included this mostly because I know this would anger you very much, um, and I like seeing you very upset. Before if I throw I, it to you, uh, before I throw it to you, because I know you're a caged leopard right now, you're walking back and forth like, let me at him. Before I throw it to you, very interesting that they bring up Halo Infinite's fault. Now, for the Achievers at home, um, these are investor meetings. These are things that they have to tell people that give them money on why things went wrong. So they're going to bring up things that sound like good reasons. Pandemic is a good reason. Look at Halo. That was a really big game. That messed us up too. And they want you to not look at things that were actually their fault, like the game or how it ran or the bugs and things like that. Yeah. So they're going to look for other reasons to blame other than exactly. saying it was our fault. I could have literally not played Halo that, that last year, and I still said twenty Battlefield twenty forty two was a terrible game. Yeah, it's very. Ind I mean, hey, for people who aren't, and that and that reasoning is pretty much for people who don't really understand games or or, or I mean, in the this space. This game is so saying it might go to free to play, and I will still not play it. Mm. Now, Battlefield, I remember playing. I played like two hours of it and it just it's rough i saw a lot of people enjoying it i honestly don't understand how you do it because i just feel like it feels like um it almost feels like a demo i mean because like yeah, nothing played... happens when i kill people like i get a hundred points but like nothing nothing happens on my screen so it's like it it's, almost feels like it's feel still like everything beta takes too long dude i mean I've, i played maybe for an hour and a half two hours and i feel like a third of the time, I'm either waiting or dead. <laughs> waiting like, or dead. Like, I'm literally, I'll jump in. I'm like, of course, I'm not the best. So I'm, those other people are going to be great at the game. But, like, I feel like anytime I'm even trying to get into an area, I immediately get killed. It's like, mm. it's, I mean, I feel like the, the, what would you call it? The, the skill base. Skill ceiling? Not, I guess, yeah. Cause, like, I feel like people, that I'm fighting against or like I've been here for years oh, and oh, I just oh. so started. So saying so... like maybe there, I don't know what matchmaking they use, but you're saying 
it might be not skill based. It might be connection. Yeah, so you're fighting like, like a bunch of cracked out motherfuckers. Yeah. Like literally I would shoot this dude. He turned around, shot me once. I died. I was like, I just shot my whole clip at you. And I know I didn't miss. I That's literally watched funny. your health and I didn't, and he didn't die. That's he literally funny. did the thing where he dropped, turned around and shot me. And I'm uh, like, how? That was pretty good. Yeah. So I'm like, well, it, no, this game, like, oh, no. I get it. I it still has so many bugs. It's mm -mm. like I don't. I don't. I don't take. I feel like they're just, they're just like oh, it was you know Halo came around the same time and I kind of they're messed shifting this up. Blame. Right. Like literally, that game couldn't have came out at all, and your game was still having problems. Yeah. Like, what are you gonna say then if that game would have not come out? Mm. What are you gonna blame it on? Yeah, you yeah. Didn't I... have enough time. <laughs> like. <laughs> Yeah, I, I definitely, yeah, I basically agree with everything you just said. Like, Battlefield, and look, they, they're shifting blame. It's, it's clear what they're doing. So. They shouldn't, they need, I mean, I was about to say they need to take a break, but obviously they have, and no, no, it they didn't did. help them. It didn't work. <laughs> they took a break. They need, they need, they, I think they just need a fresh start. They need uh, new people working on this game. I, I think they, yeah, I think, I, I kind of think you're hitting the nail pretty much on the head. Uh, Dice, I. I Dice, mean, you had your chance. Mm -mm. Let's. I mean, what's the last? It's like it's Dice, like it's like Dice has made this. It's like Star Wars. Battlefields were all right, and they they didn't they didn't hit the nail on the head. I was like, hey, all right, it's it's Star Wars time to move on from 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 the from these people. Yeah, Battlefront and all that. Yeah. So yeah, yeah I mean, Dice is kind of. I mean, honestly, a shell of his former self. I feel like it's a similar Bioware situation, where mm -hmm. you haven't really seen a really good game from them in a while, like. Yeah, la the last couple we've seen, which if I remember correctly, um, I did they make Battlefield Five? They made all of them, right? I don't I'm remember if, right what. Now. I'm pretty sure Dice, if not co-made, made all of them. Um, I can't I quite. Remember. They have a checking. support. I think they had a support studio with with Our when they games. made Battlefield. Let's see. Five. I just can't remember. They had Battlefield One, Battlefield Five, uh, Star Wars Battlefront Two. Battlefield 2042. Yeah, so okay, actually so they did says, make all of them. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, no, they've worked on all the Battlefields. Okay. It looks I couldn't like. remember if two, they... Three, four, I couldn't remember. Company. I couldn't remember if they had like a whole studio thing. It's not important. Uh, yeah, so, they, so they've worked on every single Battlefield, it looks yeah, like. Yeah, yeah, so... And I, I argue, arguably, they've been getting worse. Yeah. Really. I mean, no, they've not, been getting I mean, worse. I mean, I don't even think there's an argue. I think it's just straight up fact. Yeah, it's uh, pretty objectively, yeah. I mean, I mean when, Battlefield... In the year of its release, in maybe a, like six months of its release, and you're already thinking about making this game free to play, there's an issue. That's also a huge spin in the face of people who bought the game for sixty bucks like six months ago. That's pretty. That's that's a pretty bold move when you uh, when you try to go free to play. I mean, isn't there a petition right now for or for yeah, something? I for did those, see. I did yeah, see for that. people still trying to like, get their money back for that game. Yeah, there's like two hundred thousand people signed in. They're like, they should offer us refunds. And I'm like. This is the issue with a lot of people in games. They just, they don't know how to vote with their wallet. Like, you have to not give them money for them to feel. Yeah. EA doesn't care. Now, they, they probably no, yeah. had a bigger round number at the end of their financial statement that they were expecting, but they probably still made mm -hmm. a lot of money off this game. Probably nowhere near as much as they wanted to, but they probably still made a lot of money. What you have to do now, at least the bare minimum, don't buy any more dice games, and then at the... At, at the minimum, don't buy any more EA games and tell them why. Look, tell them it was just, Battlefield. Tell, tell, I, you have to mm. tell them, I'm done giving you money for these things. Go fix it. I feel like I that's... Mean, I enjoyed Battlefront 2 way more than this game. I, feel like, I mean, that's what happened. I, I don't know. That's kind of what happened with Anthem where like, people were just like, we're not doing this. Like, we're, not, we're not playing this game. Yeah. Um, look at it now. Yes, yeah, dead. Yeah. In the grave. Um, but yeah, the uh, achievers. If you're if you if you're one of those two hundred thousand people that signed the petition, first off, they're not going to give you your money back. Second, they don't care. So you have to not buy the next Battlefield game. Stop buying them. Yeah, you have to stop. I'll, I'll literally purchasing. go play Mirror's Edge Catalyst again before oh I play God, Battlefield again. No, <laughs> I, I'll do it. I'll stream it. I, I I like that as a threat. I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it. I like they yeah, I like they care. <laughs> Speaking of uh. Failed launches. Cyberpunk released a 1.5 patch 
almost a year and a half later. So, what is this 1.5 patch? There's a lot of things. They actually had a full kind of video thing that the, that you can go watch if you'd like, and it details several things. It details the uh, expansions, what they did to it, what they changed, what are the new things that are happening, what are um. I mean, it's it's kind of a lot of stuff. It's almost a rework of the whole game with, uh, and mm-hmm. not it's not really a, a rework of the whole game, I th- uh, but it it is very close to like a complete rehash. Now, I'm gonna quickly run down. They released like a little patch notes thing. I'm gonna quickly run down the highlights. I don't want to read everything, so mm-hmm. these, these are just like some highlights, and I want to throw it, and we're just gonna talk about this game since we're kind of saying in the vein of failed launches with Battlefield. I want to bring up Cyberpunk. So, Cyberpunk. Patch 1.5. Uh, this is available on both PS5, Series X, and Series S, and I will also be going over... Uh, oh, no, no, sorry. So, so here, this is a better way of doing it. So, PS5, Series X, Series S, PS4, Xbox One, and PC and Stadia are all going to include new weapons, additional apartments for V, hairdressing mirror, and a rebalance of gameplay, econ- economy, and loot systems. <laughs> so, a uh, complete overall how you play the game. Now... <laughs> These next ones are only going to be available for uh, PS5 big and top. Series X. Yeah, Ray traced too. local shadows. Okay. Um, don't know what that means. Then there is various visual quality improvements. That is including the Series S version. Spatial headphone audio. This was already on the Series X and Series S. It's being added to the PS5. Improved cad reactions, that is all on new-gen consoles, and then DualSense control features are, of course, only on PS5. Alex. Hmm. It was like a 30-minute presentation, if I remember correctly. It might have been a little less. I didn't watch it, uh, mainly because I don't care. But I wanted to bring up, not only has Cyberpunk upgraded their versions and have made them for PS5 and Series X, they may have added some features that may improve the gameplay substantially. Man, they might have a No Man's Sky-esque situation on their hands. Mm. You booted it up, if I remember correctly, and played a little mm-hmm. bit. I know it was a little bit, but I what did, like, did you think? I did, like, 20 minutes. Okay. <laughs> um, so I booted it up for, like, 20 minutes. The gameplay does feel smoother. I haven't seen anything freak out in those 20 minutes that I played. Okay. I, like, at all. Like, everything was running fine, so that's that's good. So for 20 minutes and not seeing anything bad at all, that's I mean I, that's an improvement. Um, <laughs> the one, the one thing, <laughs> the one thing that I didn't see a point or a difference was the performance versus fidelity. The fidelity is the 30 frames with ray tracing, and then the performance, of course, is 4K 60, no ray tracing. Literally, when I turn on the fidelity for the ray tracing. I didn't see a difference. I no. mean, everything's look shiny. You know, with ray tracing, everything yeah. kind of like like water. You do see the reflections, the street with the lights. Literally, when I shut it off and I switch to sixty frames, of course, the game runs so much better sixty frames. I do not recommend the thirty frames. Um, but once you once that's the four K sixty, uh, I mean, honestly, didn't really change. I didn't see much of a difference. The ray tracing look still kind of felt there, and I wonder if maybe that's just how the game looks. Now, I, I, I'll be honest. I don't know how this works um, mm-hmm. or if it has anything to do with it, but could it have something to do with your TV? Like, does it have to be a newer TV to experience ray tracing? I, I don't know that. I don't is, think so. I don't know. As I far mean, as I, I understand, would, it doesn't have to be. I have to try my other TV, which I have a better TV that I could probably maybe see a difference, but... Normally, when I see a rage, like I played Miles Morales uh, on this TV that I'm using, and I changed the from the ray tracing to non, and I can see a difference like okay. immediately in that one. So it's For definitely game, not that then. So I don't said, think so. Yeah, you said you noticed a difference on something else. Yeah. So on this game, because I, I I feel like it's because the game has such a grainy look, and even film grain is completely off, and it still is just I think it's supposed to look. Very like, like, like I think it's supposed to do that. The grainy cyber yeah. uh, cyberpunkish look. I'm not. I'm not a fan. And to look dirty, probably. Yeah, it just. I. I. I guess I don't. I don't like it. I wish it was more clear and the lines are, are more like solid. 
I just don't see a difference. I, if anything, I don't recommend the ray tracing just because I don't see a difference at all. I, I'd rather just do the four the four K sixty, which it ran great. So I mean, other than that, I mean, I don't see a point in the ray tracing for this game. I mean, maybe other people will see a difference. Maybe is, they'll show. This is slightly off topic, and we're, we're gonna go back to Cyberpunk. But do you okay. think ray tracing is thrown around a little too often? Yeah, when I, I originally saw ray tracing, it was a game changer. Like the, I it was being, being shown too on often. Minecraft and things. And now when I see ray tracing, I it it's, does not look like that. No, it, I think it, they're throwing it around too much to be like, oh, here's ray tracing, just to be like, oh, people get excited. But it's it, there's no difference. Like at least not right now. Maybe maybe they'll ha- patch it up a little it, bit better. Also, achievers, let us know if this is maybe a more PC centric update. I, I know ray tracing. I would assume. That I would know. Have to be better on PC. I know. Um, I know ray tracing is very intensive, so maybe it's just not great on consoles so if you have like a really good pc build out there let us know if you're experienced like if we sound crazy right now because i would just every time i have turned on ray tracing Mm -hmm. i'm like yes this looks good it does not look like other games one quick bring up miles morales looked incredible when the ray ray tracing thing that's one game i that's what i'm saying like it was like nine day because my yeah miles morales you can tell yeah, it was like nine day. It was like when but I turned hard, it on, hard, I was like, yeah. "Oh my god!" Like and I think they even added a performance RT version, which yep. is the ray tracing. They, they so it's still sixty frames. That's what I put and it on. I, the, the, yeah, that's what I put it on because like, the I ray went, tracing looked so good. But I didn't want to. I wanted the sixty frames. Still. When I went back and after they patched that in, I put that on. It was, I mean, it was, yeah, it, it was insane. Great. Yeah, I see that like. when I hear ray tracing, that I like that. Mm-hmm. I, I I agree. But, like, I mean, it just, I guess it depends on the game because, like, uh, really on any, uh, it depends on the developer, I guess, on how they incorporate ray tracing. Because even for games that don't have it, for example, Destiny, I yeah. was playing Destiny on my 4K TV, which is not a high end 4K TV, but it looks, it looks good. But when I came over to my PC, which is a 1080, you know, 144 hertz monitor, it looked better. Mm. Like, colors were like a lot, like, pop more, and everything yeah. looked better. And I'm like, does that change because it's on PC? Or, I mean, I assume my 1080p monitor is shouldn't be better than the TV, but it could be. It I is mean, newer. It is newer, but it's just crazy on how it just felt better on the PC. And I'm wondering if that is that a like on purpose? Like, you would think you want Destiny to look great on console as well as PC. But it just you should come over and see it on mine. It looks pretty good. Now I have not seen your your PC run it, so I, I don't know yeah. what it looks like. So it might it might yeah. look better. That's a good question though. Is it a 1080p monitor that you that was made? I mean, last year, if I remember correctly, right? Mm-hmm. Like you got yeah. So it's a 2021 new yeah. monitor, 144 hertz monitor. Yeah. It does that look better than a 4K TV bought in 2015 or whatever? Yeah, mm, I don't know. May, probably. I'd assume so because yeah. uh, I assume technology just changes L- so much. yeah lcd panels are probably much better i, I don't know but i i mean it, it sounds reasonable to me yeah um, so like i wonder is if like if i play cyberpunk on if i had a 4k monitor yeah and i play cyberpunk on my pc i wonder or or even this monitor i wonder if it'll look better on here with ray tracing rather than that tv so i'm wonder i'm wondering it's a great question i i, I don't mm. know the answer to that <sighs> and I wonder if I can download Cyberpunk on PC. Yeah, check. I, I don't think we got it for free. I don't think. Yeah. Before we move on to this, brand new to it, you don't have to answer if you don't want to because it's just so new, but too little too late for the Cyberpunk update. Do you think it's even close to compelling enough? For me? Yes, because I've already played the game, got the achievements. I don't have any intention going back because I have so much going on. For you, since you haven't played the game, I do recommend you playing it now that the game is fixed. I think you'll have a better experience than I did. I do have and a plan think, at the beginning of March to mid-March yeah, time zone I do recommend playing this game. people like you that have waited for this. I think it is worth going back because the game is good. Like, if you... Uh, but like I even for his faults, like 
it didn't bother me. Like when I played it, I thought it was hilarious. Um, right. But uh, I played the game. I enjoyed it. I I wish like of course I, I wish I had a smoother gameplay. But now I'm actually and glad that you'll get to experience it with a better performance. Yeah. And I'm actually one. I'll, I mean, yeah, I do recommend it for people who, like on your on your side. Okay. I'm definitely interested in playing it. For me, no, I'm not going to go back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm definitely interested in playing it. I will be playing it probably mid to early March. Um, yeah. I have no rush, if I'm being honest, to play this game. Yeah, just no. Because yeah. we have way too much stuff coming. Yeah, but and I'm not saying period, that it's a forgettable do... game, but, like, it is, like, it's not, like, like it's we not got that. Horizon, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's not Horizon. It's not yeah. Elden Ring. Yeah. It's not Witch Queen. It's not Witch Queen. Let's be honest with ourselves. Let's be honest. Achievers, that's the that's the news for the week. Uh, there's not, not a lot. Too, yeah, not a lot. Not a lot. So, uh, to kind of relax because it's been a while since we've done it. Uh, Alex, is there anything you just want to talk about? Anything in the gaming sphere that's happening? We're coming off of huge news, of course, with the, I mean, Blizzard Activision situation that happened a couple weeks ago. Yeah, Bungie being purchased. There's so many things. So I do feel like that has contributed to a slower news period that we find ourselves in right now. Um, and also Horizon and Elden Ring are coming out, so not many games want to talk, and not many yeah. people want to talk because there's it, the the next three weeks are going to be way too filled with talk to, to be able yeah. to t- say anything. So, Alex, is there anything you want to anything you want to patch out this last thing? You have something to tell the audience or myself? Anything you want to talk about? I'm I'm still worried on there's going to be another acquisition something mm. soon, and I just I'm there I'm be. wondering who is going to be. There, there definitely will be one. The, 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 the question is who it is, and it's just it's impossible to know. You could throw around guessing and things like that, but we are really in a time where anything can happen. If I told you like a month ago, uh, I guess a month and a couple days ago, that Blizzard mm-hmm. would have been purchased, you would have been like, "Come on, man, stop drinking all the time." Mm-hmm. All right, it's two, it's it's two p.m. But it happened. If I also would have told you that PlayStation purchased Bungie and they're not exclusive, that's almost crazier that they (laughs) spent like $3 billion and said nothing changed. That's even crazier, arguably. So yeah, we we live in some sort of uh, unprecedented times, especially in video games, that we just don't know what's going to happen. Um, I'm assuming for, I mean, achievers who have yet to get a Series X, I saw an article pop up on GameSpot that GameStops will have some tomorrow. Yes, I do know that a handful of games uh, Or as of, if you're listening today, today, today they will yeah. have some. <laughs> yeah. They will have some. Check online if you're listening to it. As this so yeah, has hey. aired, check online right now. So yeah, good, hey, good um, luck for people. <laughs> Hopefully somebody can get the, if they haven't gotten any yet. And I'll tell you, uh, the Series Xs tend to stick around, so... If you, even if you listen to this hey. a little late, check your local game mm-hmm. stuff. It might it yeah. might be there. It, it might. Um, and also, these things usually happen in waves. So Walmart, Target, they should be getting mm. some soon as well, if not the same day. So be on the lookout. Hopefully, most I feel like most people who got the next gen and who are really trying have got who it. really trying to got one. Yeah, I, I like like who are really trying because I I know some people that are like. You got a PS5? No. It's like, oh, it's so hard to get. I'm like, yeah, try a lot harder than that, my friend. Yeah. <laughs> you can't just I go think into places. Because people, and just... Well, I think it's because they don't want to spend the 800 that's ex- or like, you know, the, the extra amount for one. Yeah. Because people are just charging so much for them. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Without anything with it. And if I remember correctly, too, uh, retailers are starting to try and get a little more money off them and making them bundled as well. Uh, so be uh, be aware of that if you're going to these retailers. Some of, some of them are making you spend like seven, eight hundred bucks. You mm-hmm. get stuff with it, like, and you're not paying any extra, but it's still a lot of money. Alex, on that note, what? oh, what you mean? Oh, go go. Uh, last breaking last news. Day. Yesterday, oh, just yesterday. I didn't know. I didn't see. Breaking you news have... that happened yesterday. Oh. Uh, Overwatch Two may be seen Nick, uh, may be seen in May during the league season five Overwatch League. Oh, so we, I could definitely see that happening. Yeah, That's... so it says we might we might see Overwatch Two. I was like, cool for people who love Overwatch. You remember when we liked Overwatch? What I, happened? 
I'm waiting stale, for Overwatch right? 2. It got stale. I, I I mean I, we played it so much. It's like it's like Apex, dude. I I like Apex, but it got stale. But I I haven't gone back this season, and mm. I never, I didn't finish last season. I just I, I gave it a break. The games as a services they they almost come in flows because I remember playing mm-hmm. Overwatch, Apex, yeah. Fortnite. And, they yeah. just got kind of stale. You just kind of stop yeah. playing. Yeah, I mean I did that with Destiny, and but Des- I got Destiny back. Who knows? I'll go back to the other games. But that's why I'm thinking like when's when's the next time I'm going back to Apex. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty excited when that happens, but yeah, oh, yeah. but you can't force it. You gotta just let it happen. Mm-hmm. No, you gotta let it happen. I want I want to play the new Maggie, right? The new legend. Oh yeah, Mad name. Maggie. Yeah, she looks cool. I literally mm-hmm. have no idea what she does, but she looks cool. Um, I think. D- d- do you know what she does? Isn't there like some sort of ability she can like break through? Uh, like Gibraltar's bubble or something. I've known nothing of this character nice yeah i oh, told you i haven't gone back at quick all quick psa achievers sorry I, I meant to cover this at the beginning um but i completely forgot uh, apparently elden ring spoilers are out there Ooh, be careful yes, be careful be careful if, now be careful for this yes, be careful now how do you spoil elden ring no idea you i could right? spoil dark souls one through three right now no it would mean nothing you go back in the womb in dark souls 2 that means nothing to you that means nothing to you Dark Souls 3, you kill the guy that's on fire. Boom. Spoiled that game. Nothing. Now, you can't really spoil Elden Ring, I believe, but because to spoil Dark Souls, you'd have to write a novel because you'd have to like explain the ending and then you have to explain why that's spoiling and then you have to explain who that is. No, it's just impossible to spoil that. It's impossible. Okay. Achievers, oh my god. We're back. I don't know what happened there. Something happened, yeah. but yeah. So if you see, it's I like, fixed uh, it. in the middle of us There's talking and the like glitch. Yeah, yeah, that's why. <laughs> it was at the very end, so it was kind of a clean. It was a clean exit. But yeah. achievers, I wanted to quickly jump back in because uh, I think it was an error on my side. I don't know. Two, thank you so much for listening to this part mm-hmm. of the video. This is essentially over for the week, so we're gonna come back next week. Now we are gonna have been playing Horizon all week. Now we will have an impressions video before our normal friday show mm-hmm. we're gonna Stay aim tuned. for possibly tuesday 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 it's a tuesday. big possible might be monday might be wednesday we're gonna we're gonna mm. we're gonna stay in contact i'm feeling wednesday maybe tuesday who knows but keep in contact i'm going okay. to tweet it out yeah All the good you stuff. might see a tweet on how we feel about it so far yep Just- Sneak peek. My, yeah, we'll do a little first impressions, things like that. Uh, expect a review and spoiler cast. It's been a minute since we had a new game, so I gotta, I gotta remind right? the achievers. I gotta remind the yeah, achievers. We're like, oh shoot, a spoiler uh, cast. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's been a, it's. I mean, it has been a, a kind of while since we had a spoiler cast. So I'm, I, honestly, I'm really excited. We haven't done one since Halo. That feels like a generation ago. It's only three months though. But be excited. Let us know what you think. If you ever uh, want us to cover something, reminders, comment below. We take all considerations. Remember, you can DM us on Patreon exclusively to get on the show with a question or some sort of comment. Or if you just want to make fun of us, you can do that as well. Although, get prepared to be roasted back. All right. On that note, thank you so much for listening. Remember, like, comment, subscribe. You know what to do. Five-star review. You, you already know. And until next time. Good on you, Nuggets. Go achieve. <laughs> Go achieve. I, I can't wait to do the next podcast because that means I would have already played Horizon. You know what I mean? You know what I mean by that? Like, I can't wait to record because that means I already have Horizon. That means you've already said that you, you played Yes. Horizon. Oh, my God. <laughs> Goodbye, achievers. Goodbye.